Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show everybody uh, a Redis uh, demo on Windows and using C Sharp for doing a read and a write. First, I just wanted to talk about Redis and where we're at and why I'm using Redis and what it's used for. First of all, um, coming from the world of MATLAB to R, I needed something for parallelization. I mentioned this in previous emails, blogs, uh, videos, and the like. Um, so with uh, the R package, do Redis with Redis as the back end. I can do now do parallelization uh, for free. It's highly scalable. Redis is very, very powerful in that. Um, and that takes away the ability uh, or, or the need to spend large amounts of money on worker licenses for uh, MATLAB, which can go literally into <laughs> hundreds, thousands of dollars. Let's leave it at that. Um, now, in terms of messaging and NoSQL and versus uh, traditional uh, databases, uh, relational databases that meaning like Oracle, MySQL, um, we basically can um, uh, focus on different NoSQL solutions. I've looked at Mongo, Couch, Cassandra. Uh, obviously, R is a very important part of that. Um, and also Hadoop with HBase. Um, the only ones that were doable with R were um, Cassand uh, no, um, Mongo, Couch, and Redis. Um, I have looked at Hadoop with HBase, didn't like it. Um, tossed out the Mongo, I've tossed out the uh, Cassandra. Um, it's just not saying that they're bad products or bad solutions, it's just to be honest, they don't fit my needs. Um, a lot of the problems that I'm finding with a lot of these type of projects uh, is the documentation basically blows. Uh, I'm into a needing very quick start uh, documentation to get me up and running very quick, quickly, uh, and Redis does all that. Also, uh, the, the amount of um, uh, basic uh, um, crap like uh, moving parts, uh, setting it up, ma maintenance. It's just it's a, it's a pure nightmare with a lot of these other solutions. Uh, the Redis community, there is a community, it is widely used, um, Craigslist, a few other examples if you go to the site, on and on I go about Redis. It's a very simple, but very effective and very um, easy to use um, database. Now, where does Redis fit in all this? As I said, you can use it for parallelization. Redis can also be used for something similar to something like a, a Berkeley a DB or another for financial uh, services called KDB, um, which are basically in-memory databases, and they allow you to uh, cluster them among uh, various uh, systems, which Redis is very similar in doing. Everything's all in memory, which means it's very fast, um, and uh, you don't get anything faster than anything in memory. Also, you can use it for persistence, where you can use it for, obviously, storage. There's things annoying me. Um, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so the Redis is very powerful in that. I'll let you decide on that. So um, Redis is very powerful for that. Also, I've done demos on uh, messaging uh, using commercial products like MQ series or TIPCO. Very expensive, very expensive that large banks use, uh, like Citibank or Merrill Lynch or B of A, whoever. Um, but I've also demonstrated a very primitive way of doing it through Socket. Uh, programming uh, both with a C-sharp server as well as a Java client. I've got a YouTube video on that. problem with that is it's all memory based. It's all done through the wire so if something gets lost, you're screwed. So persistence is needed for uh, data storage. Again, that's where um, Redis is very powerful. So Redis can be used for best of both worlds for speed as well as having equivalent of a in-memory uh, database as well. The persistence is there uh, for the storage um, and uh, it's, 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 it's really good to have the best of both worlds as well as a messaging. You can kind of use uh, Redis for that, which I'm about to not show you, but I just want to show you how you can uh, read and write from uh, C Sharp. Uh, I'm going to have another video uh, for uh, Java. So let's get on with the show. I uh, just wanted to do a brief blurb on where we're going with Redis and why I'm using Redis versus something else. So. Let's get in with it. Um, 
the first thing you'll need to uh, understand from this uh, URL here um, is in here uh, Redis server on Windows is not recommended for production only for testing and learning uh, but for live uh, it's for uh, Linux now in my case I do have a Linux Redis uh, server set up uh, it is from Redis Thought I owe the site from the community. It's an official Redis release. It's not a reinterpreted, um, uh, recoded uh, version or implementation of Redis, which I'm about to show you in the wi uh, wi uh, win uh, in Windows. So in this version that I've uh, downloaded, I've shown a video on how to set this up. But if you come under um, your Windows Services, uh, this this particular impl implementation of Redis is set up as a service. It's kind of cool, but again, not to be used for uh, live production of whatever you're doing it with, namely, in my case, tick data or uh, market data. So in here, obviously, I have the Redis server set up. It's uh, started already. Um, so I want to show you that the server is underway. I'm going to load up the uh, client. Now, this is the Redis primitive client, basically. Now, uh, if you go through this tutorial, uh, one of the more basic things it's going to want you to do is just to show you um, how to use Redis and how it how to uh, integrate and uh, work with uh, Redis. So in my case, um, I'm going to do a, a very simple data store um, using Redis some, with, with a car, um, and uh, I'm just looking for the command here. Uh, where's my set? Okay, this is what we want to execute right here. Um, so this is in the client. Okay, okay, so that's what we got. And now we're going to do the get. Now, again, remember, this is a, a data store of, of whatever. If it's text, obviously it's text that I'm using, but different objects. They could be lists, uh, numbers. Um, so that's what we expected for Ford. Now, when I say Redis, I can always refer to it as my backend. I could use it as my cluster. I could use it as my repository. Um, when I say backend, I'm always referring to this Redis here with the Redis server. Um, okay, so I've demonstrated the client that it is uh, working. Uh, the repository is storing uh, this car make and retrieving the Ford. So that's basically how Redis works. So now we're going to automate that through C Sharp. Now again, uh, the key with this particular uh, tutorial that threw me off is use this zip file right here. This zip file contains everything you need. Um, so let me uh, show you what I mean. Uh, when you download the Redis tutorial uh, zip file, it'll expand into uh, a source. So right here, this is where it gets interesting. It makes it nice and easy. If you open with your uh, Visual Studio, whatever version you got, everything's already self-contained for within your uh, Visual Studio. When I hand-coded this part right here, I got all kinds of stupid errors, which I shouldn't have got, but regardless, I did not get them. So in essence, uh, that's your best bet, is to use this source folder. Now, when you do look at this actual code, um, it does build. Uh, hang on here. So build succeeded. Now I'm going to run it. Um, so there you go. It is uh, retrieving everything you want. Uh, has four cars, uh, all the data, blah 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 blah. So this this source code does work as is. So um, in the essence, what you need to do is just go through that tutorial, follow the steps, um, and obviously here I'll just walk you through it. Connects to the local host, obviously on my uh, what I just showed you, the Windows server. Um, I have the equivalent of a try catch uh, and then sorry not a try catch uh, uh, using this uh, Redis client uh, create all your your data structure um, now we just issue uh, the names of the cars uh, store all those cars um, in here uh, now remember these these dance forward best is forward or whatever. Uh, Vauxhall, Nova are, are separate, um, uh, I guess call them structures within C Sharp. Um, and uh, we're going to get uh, output to the console, output to the uh, retrieve. Um, 
So there you go, it's going to do a sleep of about six seconds and then bring back all those, um, all that data that uh, we, uh, we uh, inserted. Um, so essentially here's uh, one of the uh, get all and with a condition no different than you get in traditional uh, SQL where car, car make uh, is equal to, um, to Ford. Um, so that's pretty well it. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, this tutorial will help you out to understand how to integrate or inter interact with Redis um, and uh, see the benefits of it. And that's, of course, using the uh, C Sharp. Hopefully that will help you out. Enough blabbing from my end. Have a nice day.